What are the best Pokemon Seal products to pick up this month in August? We are deep in August right now, and there are some great Pokemon Seal products to pick up right now to invest in. I mean, there is just some really good ones, especially from the Scarlet and Violet era. Like, Scarlet and Violet era right now is showing really good, strong potential in certain sets, especially Twilight Masquerade and Powder Evolved. But there are other Seal products that you can pick up right now, which are just really, really good. There are definitely some Seal products to pick up, not just booster boxes. They're really, really good to invest in. So today we'll be taking a look at TCG Player at five great Pokemon Seal products to pick up this month with, of course, an honorable mention. So let's jump in and take a look at the honorable mention. All right, coming to this honorable mention, we have Twilight Masquerade Booster Box. Now, Twilight Masquerade is very, very good, right? It is a very, very strong set. It is performing incredibly well. We have the Greninja that has finally reached over $300, which is just absolutely crazy. And this set is really performing way better than I expected. And is doing very, very well. This has been out, what, like two months? If that it has been doing incredibly well. Not only that, the booster box is looking around $120 right now, which is very impressive. Right now, I do expect uh, more reprints of this to be coming down the line, which will drop the price. But the fact is that these booster boxes have gone up, you know, 16% upon release already is just crazy. It's just really, really good. I mean, we saw Powder Evolve do very well, uh, and Twilight Masquerade is following suit. And I think this is going to be one of the best Scarlet and Violet sets in the whole era. I really, really do. You know, you have that Greninja that's holding very well. You also have Eevee, a ton of cards that are over $100 or around $100. This set is just performing on, it's just firing all cylinders. It really, really is. And with, you know, tougher pull rates and less of a print run, it makes it really interesting. The reason why I haven't put in the top five, and it's just an honorable mention, is because this is going to get reprinted down the line and expected to drop. So yes... At the moment, it's about $122. If you can get this cheaper than $122, then most definitely be in the top five. Now, over here in the UK, you can pick this up for around about $110 a box. So for me, I think that's really good. I think if you're over here in the UK, I would definitely put it in the top five because it's a good pickup. But in the US, $122 is a bit pricey. So if you can get it cheaper than that, then I would definitely put it in the top five. But right now, it's an honorable mention. I'm at number five. We have the 151 UPC. Now, I'm actually going to be putting the UPC in one of these top five lists. The reason being is because we're getting to the point now where there's going to be more uh, 151 products coming to us at the end of the year. We'll be looking at uh, potentially mini tins, booster bundles, and ETBs, and also the Zapdos and the Alakazam collection boxes. So pretty much most of the 151 range is getting restocked slash reprinted. But there's nothing really said on the 151 UPCs. Now at the moment, you can still get these, especially in the UK, you can still buy these for 120 including the Squirrel promo, which is very, very good. But it does say that the Squirrel promo is only available until the end of this year. So I would say get a hold of it while you can, all right? And get that promo because that promo alone is like $80, $90, which is absolutely crazy. Here in the UK, it's about £35, £40. But in the EU and in the US, it is pretty pricey. On top of that, this has also been going up in price. It is $126 right now. 151 is getting expensive. Like in the individual packs are getting expensive. You get 16 packs in here, which is a decent amount. And it's quite interesting because like over here in the UK, like I, I keep referring to the UK because the prices 151 packs here are like eight to nine pound a pack. Some places even 10 pound a pack. So it's getting really, really expensive. I mean, even ETBs, we're looking at £80 plus just for a regular ETB. So for me, I think the 151 UPC is very, very good. Of course, you get the playmat, you get the promos as well. But yeah, look, it's been going up, right? It's gone up 12% over the past three months, which is very, very impressive. It is bouncing back. You know, and we did see like when, when it came out, it was really high. And I said to people, don't buy it. It's highly inflated. And it was. It went all the way up to over $150. It just wasn't worth it. And it actually then did drop below 100. That would have been the best time to buy it, of course. Um, but then it's been trickling up ever since. So I think now's a really good time to pick one up. So yeah, it definitely made it into the list. So in number four, we have the Temporal Forces Booster Box. I highly rate Temporal Forces. I think it's really, really good. I think it's a very strong set. Incredible SIRs. Incredible illustration rares. You know, this is definitely like one of these sets you've got to keep an eye on, right? I think over the next few months. Of course, I do expect, uh, you know, reprint slash restocks coming of this later on this year. This does have a smaller print run. I had a smaller initial print run to begin with. 
the pull rates are definitely a lot tougher than the early uh, Scarlet and Violet era sets. And yeah, this set has just been performing very well. I mean, as far as Booster Box is concerned, it hasn't really done much. I mean, it's just been sat where it was. You know, unlike Twilight Masquerade, where we've seen it been climbing, this is definitely one to keep an eye on. This one and other things like, like Paradox Rift and stuff, to me, are going to be very, very good in the future. So you definitely want to pick these up. I mean, over here in the UK, you can pick these up for about £100 a box. Even if, like, you get reprint slash restocks, I just don't see the price of this dropping below 100 Very, very rare. So, for me right now, I think Temporal Forces is a great one. I think it's potentially a dark horse, but I'm, uh, I'm going for this one. And we'll have to wait and see how well it will do in the future. Number three, we have Paradox Rift. I just recently talked about how great Temporal Forces is. Well, Paradox Rift is pretty much alongside it. This set did come out just after 151, but before Temporal. And again, this one had less of a print run. A little bit tougher pull rate. Very, very good, strong set overall. Of course, you've got the on, which is doing relatively well. You've also got the uh, Roaring Moon, which is doing very well. So again, fantastic illustrations, fantastic SIRs. This is definitely one to look out for. $100 right now. This actually used to be uh, one of the cheapest booster boxes to pick up. You know, over the last three months, it's gone up by about 3%. We go back over the last six months. We've seen it's grown 10 to 11%, which is very, very good. So overall, this is definitely a product to look out for. Like, it's been out a year already, and it's, it's on that bounce back. You know, it did drop, like I say, in that low 90s. So now's a really good time to get it. Of course, if more comes, I do expect it to drop a little bit, but I think it'll probably stay around that 100 over here, you can still pick this up for around £100 a box. I just think it's great. Like anything around £100, I think, is very, very good right now. Anything around $100 is also very, very good right now. So that's definitely one thing to take into consideration when it comes to a set like this. In the number two, we have the duo. It is going to be the Kingdra and the Greninja Special Illustration Collection Boxes from Shroud of Fable. I think these are insane, right? The promos for these are absolutely amazing. And for me, I think this is the by far the best product to pick up in the whole of the Shroud of Fable range. I think these are amazing. The promos you get in there are amazing. Of course, you can say, like, well, the Pokemon Center ETB. Yeah, of course, Pokemon Center ETBs will be amazing. If I'm being honest, it feels like a bit of a miss. And I think that's the general consensus from a lot of people is this does seem like a bit of a, a poor set, a weak set. But everyone agrees that the Kingdra and the Greninja boxes are incredible. It's really weird that these cards, if they were in the set, this set would actually be, I think, better. But it's a bit weird. But anyway, let's take a look at this. We're looking around $30. I think this is a fantastic price to pick these up. I mean, I've picked these up for myself over here. You can pick them up for less than £30 each, which is very, very good. You get five packs inside and you get the amazing looking promos. And even when we take a look at the Greninja one, again, you know, you're looking around about $30 for the same amount of packs and the promos. You're mainly getting it for the promos, not necessarily the packs, because it's not a cheap option, really. It's more expensive if you're looking for the packs. If you look at cracking open, but I do think these are great. And they're actually quite small, compact collection boxes. They're not actually that big. So that does actually make a huge difference, especially for me. I actually like the compact sizes of boxes. That's one of the reasons why I don't tend to go for a lot of collection boxes because they're kind of big and bulky, whereas these are quite nice. So these are pretty good ones to pick up. And that's why I put them at number two, because not only are they cheap, but they also are just fantastic looking promos. And then finally, at number one, we have Battle Stars. We're going to the Sword and Shield era and we're looking at Battle Stars booster boxes. Don't forget. Battle Stars are the first set they introduced the old arts. You have the Sleep and Tyranitar. A lot of Sword and Shield right now. I did a mark update recently. And the the sets across the board, pretty much, and booster boxes for Sword and Shield have been not really doing much. They haven't really moved much. A lot of them have actually been falling a little bit in price. We take a look at Battle Stars, and that also has been falling. It's dropped around about 5% over the last three months. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. But if you see like a lot of you know the Sword and Shield booster boxes, they've been going pretty crazy, right? We've been seeing some sets reaching... 160 plus 180 even 200 battle styles sitting here 126 a box i think it's worth it i really do think it's worth it i think it's got a lot of room to grow we go back over the last six months and it's already gone up 22 percent in six months it has seen tremendous growth which is very very good we go back over the past year and 12 percent gain on a 13 percent gain already and it's dropped a little bit over the last few months you know it was actually there at 23 percent so this set is done very very well and i expect it to bounce back you know even if it gets back up to where it once was that's still a reasonably good gain and i think it will but has the potential to reach 200 dollars. it's not darkness of blaze it's not vivid voyage i think it's better than all of those sets i think it's gonna do very well you know and i think at that price at 126 dollars is not too bad over here in the uk you're looking around about 125 to 130 pound a box 
for battle styles maybe a little bit less if you like it on ebay but i do think it's a really really good one to get so there you have it guys those are some great seal products to pick up this month in august that's what i said 151 is doing very well and the upc is now a really good one we don't really know if there's going to be that much in the way of reprints for the 151 upc we've seen like and i would say announcements but we've seen talks of other products you know getting reprinted so 151 upc special with the squirrel promo is a no-brainer and of course you know there's a lot of good skull and violet era sets right now to get but i think battle stars could do very well shroud of fables as, as as a whole as a set is pretty lackluster but those collection boxes are incredible so definitely keep an eye out for those ones but yeah overall i think these are some great sets to pick up now's a great time right it really is like if you were able to got the funds to pick up some good stuff i think now's a good time i think in the winter you're gonna start seeing um some more gains regarding sword and shield but then you know with reprints you're looking at a lot of scarlet and violet potentially dropping a little bit in price and a great time to pick some up especially if you can't find certain sets if you may find the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button make sure to subscribe for more pokemon content let me know your thoughts down in the comments is there any other good product to pick up right now? It'd be really interesting to see what you guys have to say. But that's it for me, guys, in today's video. If you want to watch more Pokemon content, then make sure to click the video on the screen. And, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are the legends, and I'll see you in the next one.